Welcome back to MSG Moto Vlogs. Hey, Motodians, this is MSG, and I'm here with the Honda Silverwing. So you know what that means. It's time to get busy. You guys chose A, and A is how to remove the front fairing off of the Honda Silverwing 600. Let's get to it. So we, before we get into uh, disassembling the front fairing off of the bike, I just want to go over the different types of fasteners that are used on the Honda Silverwing. We have the standard Phillips uh, number two head bolts right here and screws. Uh, you can see different sizes, different lengths. So pay attention to that when you're removing it from the bike because you don't want to put the wrong screws in the wrong place. So the black ones are usually for uh, most of the exposed areas of the bike and uh, the chrome ones go underneath the panels, they're, they're hidden. Again, we have some different uh, four millimeter uh, hex bolts right here. Five millimeter, five millimeter, and we have a 10 millimeter with the washer on it. And we have some of these push dial uh, clip fasteners that we're going to also have to remove. So let's get in and let's go over the tools that are going to be needed to, uh, to do this process. We're gonna need a Phillips number two screwdriver. We're gonna need a number 10 socket. We're gonna, I brought a, a magnet just to reach those stubborn screws that don't want to come out. We're gonna, I have a combination set, uh, Allen key set right here. I'm gonna need number four and number five. And masking tape, just to mask up and cover the, uh, protect the front fender, the front wheel fender from being scratched when we lower the uh, front nose onto it. Let's get to it. Save time and make this video more interesting. I've already removed all of the fasteners on this side of the fairing. This is going to save us time in the long run. We're going to start by, we're going to start by masking off this front fender. Or you, could, you don't have to mask it off, you can put any type of paper on it. But once you drop the nose cone onto the fender, there's a strong possibility that you could scratch the fender. And you wouldn't want to have those marks on the fender. So a little bit of cheap insurance right here. And it'll save you. And, uh, you guys should go ahead and do that. I really recommend it. And with that part done, let's get down to the screws behind this fender right here, up in this wheel. You have three fasteners that you have to remove. You have to remove this push pin style fastener and two Phillips screws. One here, one here, and here you can see this fastener. It's the type that you just push in, in the center. It comes down and then you can actually wiggle it out. To, re to reinstall this, all you have to do is just spread these two little wings right here and push it up. It's like a mushroom. And here are the two Phillips screws I removed from behind the wheel. Right above the front wheel, you're going to have a five millimeter Allen screw right here that you're gonna have to remove. Moving to the inside of the bike, right underneath this foot mat, we're going to wiggle the protective cover off, exposing two more bolts, uh, actually a screw and a bolt. You have to remove this too. This one is a Phillips, this one is the only 10 millimeter socket that you're gonna have to use on this bike. Moving up, I'm going to remove the rest of the Phillips screws, one here and one here. Just above the lock box, you're going to have one four millimeter Allen screw. Remove it. Right above the cluster, you'll have another Phillips screw that you have to remove. In the front, just above the headlight, in this ear inlet, you're going to have two hidden Phillips screws. Go ahead and remove them. What you want to do now is pull these wings out a little bit 
make sure that you clear and wiggle the whole assembly down. Then you'll be able to remove the front cowl. Like so. What grabs and makes this difficult is that you have this vent right here, which uh, allows air to come into the uh, driver's cabin. And you have some hooks on the side of this cowl that makes it difficult. You also have to remove these out of the way when you pull down and out. So again, lift the wings out of the way, spread them, and wiggle the whole unit down and it should come off. Two screws here, two screws here. That's it. Next you're going to want to remove the six screws that hold the windshield on. You have one, two, three, and you have one, two, three on this side. I've already removed this side, like I said, so just focus on this side. Just a note here, these will be the longer of the aluminum or stainless steel screws uh, that you remove. So you're going to have two sizes and the longer ones hold the windscreen on. We're almost there. If this is the first time you guys are visiting my channel, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe. Uh, if you guys learned anything from this video, go ahead and like this video. Uh, if you guys don't want to commit to actually subscribing, there's another option you guys can use. You guys can favor it. Just go down there, hit the uh, save button or the favorite button and save it to, uh, to watch later. So this way, when you guys decide to tackle uh, the removal process on your Honda Silverwing, you guys will know exactly where this video is at. You won't have to go searching for it and you can find me whenever you want to. So that's another option. Uh, likes and uh, subscriptions help this channel and uh, allows me to make more videos like this for you guys to watch and help you guys in the future. Now you have one of those push screws again, these push fasteners, you just push them in like that. They come out nice and easy. Now above the instrument panel, but to the front of the bike, you have this cover. You have two screws. Go ahead and remove those screws. This can be a tricky part. What you're gonna have to do is, you're gonna have to wiggle it out because there's some actual clips down here that are actually holding it. So you have to sort of lift and pull, lift and pull, lift and pull. As you can see, you have some of these little rounded dowels that go inside these pockets right here. And you also have these, these uh, recessed pockets right here that actually fit into the lip. So when you reinstall it, you really have to be mindful when you put it back together that you actually align everything and everything gets stuck in there. So again, just lift, pull, lift, and pull. And there you go, that came off. Here we got some five millimeter mushroom head Allen sockets or um, screws right here. You've got four of them, two on each side. You're gonna have to go ahead and remove those. Five millimeter. One of them fell on the ground. And as you can see, the shoulder here is probably, I don't know, two thirds of an inch. And this one is like a 1 16th, they're like 1 8th. So this is the lower screw to connect the, uh, the upper front fairing to the bike. So the longer shoulder goes into the bottom hole inside the grommet. And the shorter shoulder comes out of the upper. So just note that when you guys are reassembling things. Next, you're going to want to disconnect the headlight harness right here. Squeeze, comes apart. There you have it. Now, let's remove this. Now with all the screws removed, the fairing should come off real easy. Be careful, 
not to get anything hung up on the brake lines here, I like to turn this, get making sure that I'm out of the way of the brake lines here with the bottom part of the fender. Swinging it over and sliding it out, just like that. And there you have it, people. How to remove the front fairing off of the Honda Silverwing 600. And again, guys, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope this tutorial was helpful and uh, educational. And I hope you guys can follow all the steps yourselves and uh, be confident when you guys are removing the, uh, the front cone, the uh, front fairing off of you guys' uh, uh, bites yourself. Don't forget to like this channel. Um, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. This really helps me help you guys uh, continue to make videos like this. And uh, without you guys' support, I, I don't know where I'd be right now. This is really a great way of me um, expressing myself and giving back to you guys. Uh, again, I just want to thank you guys. Uh, if you guys are on any Honda forums or any Honda Silverwing um, Facebook groups or channels or, or pages, Go ahead and share this video to them. I'm pretty sure this will be helpful for those guys too. Um, ladies, men, it's really easy, simple tools. Took you about, what, 10 minutes to remove this thing? Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, drop a comment in the section below. And if you guys just want to show your appreciation, just drop a thanks in the uh, comment section below. Uh, guys, I won't take any more of your time up. I just want to say thank you. Now that I got this off, I'm going to make another video on how I repaired the clips on this thing. So uh, that's something to look forward to for you guys uh, in the future. Um, again, this bike is coming out August 1st, and I just want to thank you guys for, for hanging out with me today. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm out. Just want to give you guys a big thank you from MSG. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed and you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscription button. Don't forget to hit the little bell for a notification every time I upload a new video. Thanks again for watching, guys.